Hello, my name is Christopher. Today I'm going to show you how to install Firefox with Chasm uh, VNC on Portainer and Stacks, and that's Docker Compose underneath. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over at Home Labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So this is what we'll be installing, the Firefox uh, browser, and you'll be able to use the Firefox browser in your actual browser. So um, it's using Chasm. So uh, you'll access it through the 3000 port, and um, the, the container is based on Docker base image of Chasm BNC. So uh, we'll, we'll get to explaining the Docker Compose now. So we're going to start on the bigger video assets and there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. And I'm going to go to how to install Firefox on a uh, portainer. And this will be using Chasm for, for the VNC. And um, so version 3 of Docker Compose is being used and we'll define some services. And then the service underneath the services is called Firefox. And then I'm going to get the image from Linux server and Firefox and the latest tag. And it's becoming, it's coming from their Docker repository. And um, the container name is going to be called Firefox. I'm going to set a, a security option. And then environment variables, a user ID, gr group ID, 1000, 1000. And a time zone is being set to UTC, but I would set it to your time zone. And then I'm going to set a volume and it's going to be a bind and the data, app data, Firefox, and then config. This is on the host side and you can change this. And in the container side, it's config. You cannot change the container side. And uh, I'm going to set some ports. So 3000 and 3000. So 3000 is on the host. 3000 is on the container. 3001 is on the host and 3001 is on the container side. You can change the host port if one of these collides. You cannot change the container's ports though. Now I'm going to set the, uh, the, uh, the shared uh, memory size for the container and I'm going to allocate one gigabytes to it. And then restart policy is unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any, any other reason, then it will try to restart. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go to my portainer and get this installed. So now I'm going to start on my portainer's home. And I'm going to go to local. And then stacks. And then I'm going to go add stack. And then all stacks are is using Docker Compose underneath. So I'm going to name the stack Firefox stack. And then I'm going to scroll down this web editor right here. And I'm going to paste the Docker Compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then this should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to go deploy the stack right here. And then it's deployed. So we can get into showing you the options on the stacks and the containers. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to go in the Firefox stack right here. And then, so we're in our stack, so we can stop this stack, delete this stack, create a template from this stack. We can also go in the editor right here, and we can change the Docker Compose. And then once you change it, you just say update the stack. And when you do, I do this, it'll ask you if you want to repool image and redeploy. So what this will do is if you have the latest tag like on here, then whenever the developer updates the latest tag or any other tag, then um, 
And then what this will do is it'll repull off of the repository and update your current local cache and then redeploy it. So um, I'm going to cancel out of that. And um, so now uh, we will get to explaining the container uh, options. So now if we go inside of the Firefox container right here, we can see that we can stop kill, restart, pause, remove, recreate, duplicate, and edit. So you can also check the logs right here. Great for debugging. I'm going to go backwards. So you can inspect it, status, and then console, and then attach. So you can also see the access controls, the create image right here. You can see the port configuration. So the port mappings are 3000 and 3001. And then the the, the host is g going into the container and that's 3000. So um, now the entry point is in it. And then as you can see all the environment variables that are set. You can see all the labels that are set. You can change the restart policy if you'd like and then press the update button. You can also go down here and you can see the volumes that we have set and this is the bind. So data, app data, Firefox config is on the host volume. And then in the container is config. It also created a Firefox stack default bridge network. So that's a little bit about the container options. So now we're going to go to the portainer's IP address right here. And then we're going to add on 3000 because that's the port that the Firefox is listening on. So I'm going to uh, go to it by return or enter. And then here we go. We're up and running. So you can see that we can go to Big Bear Tech World. And um, it takes a little bit to load the images for some reason. Not sure why. But, um, but it does work. I'm going to go to Google now. There we go. So, um, also, you have options over here. You can drag the viewport, keys, clipboard, full screen, game cursor mode, and settings. So, shared mode, view only, clipboard up, clipboard down, clipboard seamless, translate, keyboard shortcuts. There's all different kinds of options. And then clip to window, keyboard shortcuts, stream qual quality and then you have advanced settings so now you can go and get out of here and um, you can also disconnect so that's where you disconnect and then you can connect again so and then um, you also have uh, up here to where you can go into a directory create a folder upload files delete you can also, uh, I think this is the volume. So, um, I think that's mute and unmute. Um, I'm not sure if it's working. Um, so, that's how to get Firefox running in your browser. So, I just went over step by step on how to get Firefox running in Portainer Stacks. And uh, I went over the Docker Compose. I, I went over the UI a little bit. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.